I just checked and we're, we're very close to our goal for FM 23. We're just not quite there yet. So I'm gonna ask you guys to do this if you haven't already. Go ahead, scroll down, click that subscribe button, thumbs up as well. There's the Discord channel in there. That would be fantastic. <laughs> It's everyone's favorite time of the year. It's in the season review and the transfer special that we've got a, a lot of money that I have absolutely no idea what I want to do with. So uh, yeah, I think we'll have to sell some players to bring in players, all that kind of stuff. Uh, just honestly to find room. It's not about money. It's about playing time really. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be very interesting. But before we get into all that in action, we do have that end of season review, which I mentioned before. We won two things. I believe we won the Rohan, Johan uh, Cruyff thing and uh, we won the league as well. So that's fantastic. I was disappointed in the, um, the Champions League stuff this season, obviously. But maybe we bounce back next season. Let's take a look at the new arrivals and see what... But think about it. I clicked it. Okay, I clicked it one too many times. I do apologize. All right, so Choi, B plus for him. I uh, put out a 7.45. Really solid player. I, I, I really like this guy. The scouts didn't like him as much. And now he's up to a, a four-star player. When we brought him in, he was a two-and-a-half-star player. Jumps up to four-star in just one season. So definitely developed really well at NAC. Uh, pause came in. Came in like halfway through the season, didn't he? I believe so. Put out a 7.22. Uh, I didn't mean to click him. I, I did not mean to click him. I'm sorry. B plus for him as well. Uh, Lohero comes in. 7.31. We spent a good bit of money on him. But he done fantastic for us. Uh, Bar. B plus for him. I just clicked bar. Okay, I skipped. Hum Wait, what? What happened? Why did it? Why did I? Why did I think it said a B plus? Okay, so Hamdi, C, C on him. I, I get it. I did spend a little bit of money, and he didn't play a ton. Bar uh, a C on him. I get, once again, I get it. He didn't play a ton. Miles a C. I do not get this one. I think he was fan freaking tastic for us. Like, I love this guy. I thought he was awesome. Uh, Mr. Bun. They didn't like that one as much. C minus on that one. He. he I don't know. I, I thought Mr. Fun done good at times, but I also thought he was a little bit of a letdown this season. So hopefully he bounces back this next coming upcoming season and has even a better one. Don't care about that. Don't care. Finances. Uh, not good. Everything goes uh, down except for sponsorship, which stays at uh, around 7.82. Cardanius, Lohero, Miles, Johnson, and Sammy. Top selling kits this season. And how did we line up? I agree with that. Like, Sounds good. All right, so we got a lot of stuff to do. It looks like Cardanius racked up on Club Awards. Fans player of the season, young player of the season, goal of the season, top goal scorer, most, most player of the match awards, also highest average rating. Uh, Choi wins signing of the season. Sammy gets most assists in the season. Miles, most passes completed per 90-minute record breakers. Rubinsky breaks a... Rubinsky didn't score a lot of goals, but when he did, by God, he scored a lot of them. He breaks a record for most goals in a match with six. Uh, most goals by a player in a league match as well with six. And... Overby was a highest ever transfer fee received with $133 million. Oh, I also won the uh, Air Divisi head coach manager thing of the year. You guys get it. All right, so the best 11. God dang it, Kestens is still in this lineup. How is my man Kestens still here after so long? Like, don't get that at all. We've had plenty of good right wing players, and this guy is still here. All right, so what do we got? We probably added like 45 things. They really didn't. Uh, I'd love to get that off. We're going to try again. Oh, never mind. Just click accept it. That's fine. Well, we, we've kind of done our season review, which means it's time for us to take a look at what our reserve side done. They won the league yet again. They just win it every season at this point, don't they? Uh, I don't know if there's anybody I really want to call up this season. Uh, like I said, we're going to sell players to really do anything this this upcoming season in terms of ingoing players. Uh, so that's, that's a little bit difficult, but yeah. I don't know. I think there might be some players added to this side, which I think we need. Uh, obviously, I've got the guys that are not at club unchecked, so there's quite a few guys that's out on loan right now that's, that, that, that does help out the side a little bit. Under 18s also winning the league this season, and uh, we just keep on winning at night. So we win the league title, our reserve team wins the, the title, and our under 18s wins the title. Damn, that's a good season by night. So let's take a look at the depth chart, right? So we 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 need to take a look. Oh, what did I just do? Why? What? 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 Okay, there we go. I got it fixed. Don't worry. So uh, let's take a look at this and see what we kind of think about our depth this upcoming season. So we know what's up top. We got Cardanius. We got Rubitsky. We're good with that. We also got uh, 
Emmanuel as well. So I, I feel like our strikers are good. Left wing, we got Sammy, we got Emmanuel, we got Hamdi. Uh, I'm, there. I'm, I'm totally cool with those guys. Number 10, we got Mr. Fun. Needs to improve next season. Owen looked good. We got Perdomo as well, Barr. We got a couple guys that can play in that option. And I know, like, you see, like, Barr, oh, he's a two-star player. Why are you playing him? I mean, he's he's, an, he's, he's a standard player for our league. So, yeah, we're going to play him. Right-hand side, we got Choi. Lojero can do a fantastic job over there. Hop as well. Uh, Emerson. So, like, it doesn't look as sexy because it's like, oh, Hop's a two-star player. Emerson's a two-star player. But, like I mentioned... Good Eredivisie player and a standard Eredivisie player. So, so what I'm getting at is like the star ratings really don't matter with our team. Like the two star players, they're they're fine for this league. Uh, central mid, we got Lohero, we got Miles, we got Seal, who I did end up loaning out this past season. How did he end up doing? Killed, it. absolutely killed it. Uh, Hamdi, I, I, I kind of like as a backup deep line playmaker, but I think he's going to transition more over to the left-hand side. Pause is there, Frank, Perdomo, and Farr. Uh, we mentioned those. I'd like to play Frank a little bit more this season. I was really impressed by him. I uh, put out an average rating of 7.26. was fantastic. was a little bit injury-prone this season, but also played a lot more than he ever has for us, and he, he held up to that standard that we've held here at NAC for the past couple of seasons. Right back is a position that I do feel like we can upgrade, okay? Uh, Alves, I would not mind selling Alves, bringing in a really damn good defensive right back. I would love that. That'd make my day. That, that honestly, we need to do that. Uh, central, center back, we, we, we're making moves there, okay? So um, we've got Janssen, we've got Aliti, we've got Avale. Uh, we've also got the two other guys, uh, Henrique and Boss Van Dam. But uh, I'm, I'm bringing in that guy we mentioned, uh, I think like two episodes ago, maybe three. Uh, he's coming into the club. So wouldn't mind selling Janssen. And then using that new guy in the ball as our center backs, and then kind of the depth behind them as well. Uh, Castro, left hand side, Chavarria, Co Anders, fine there. Uh, go keep Tejon in our heart. So we look really good. Uh, I might use one of our under 23s on a right back if I can, right? If, we got to sell Alves though, right? Alves is technically a squad level player, so we don't have to sell him. But I would like to just because it kind of kind of allows us to still play uh, Aliti and Emerson some. So. Not a lot of work to be done this season. Just a little bit of fine-tuning. Okay, so I am scouting a couple of these guys, and uh, I just kind of want to show off what I'm looking for. I'm trying to think which one of these was actually the best one of them. We'll just start with this guy. Nope, not him. Not him. There's one of these guys that I really like. It's this guy right here. I really like this guy. This is the kind of right back that I'm talking about. Uh, obviously, you see the two-and-a-half star potential. Current ability. I I've sent our scout out to him just to see what he looks like, right? Uh, his potential ability, all of that jazz, because, man, he's great at marking, great at tackling, uh, good in the air as well, a jumping reach of 12, heading of 13. So um, while he might not be great at crossing the ball, I don't really ask my right back to do that a ton. I just ask him kind of to sit back, help defend a little bit, and this guy looks like he can do a damn good job of that. I just had a meeting with Tehan, and uh, he wants a new contract, which I'm totally fine by, because Inter are interested in him, and, and uh, I would like to... Try to lock this guy down a little bit more, but let's take a look at his contract he's on now. Uh, this is going to cost a lot of money, by the way. So his release cost to foreign clubs is 127 mil. Got to get that up. Okay, so he wants the release clause to be lowered. I don't want that. Okay, so we're in the ballpark. We're in the ballpark of jumped his release clause up to 180 mil, which is roughly around 50 mil, more than what it is right now. So let's go ahead and, and try to lower that just, just the tiniest amounts. That's a fantastic deal for us. Thank you, Tehan. So I'm working on selling Alves, and uh, we had a first bit of offers in, and they was basically wanting up to 20 mil. Like, it would had add-on clauses and everything, so I offered him out for 20 mil. A whole bunch of clubs have came in for it. Some big names as well. So now uh, I'm going to try try to get a little bit of bidding war started. We're going to bump that up to about 23 and a half and see if anybody bites on it. And uh, yeah, it, it looks like a whole slew of clubs have bid on that as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep doing this until the bidding stops and we're going to go with the top one at that point. So uh, yeah, maybe we'll get rid of him. Creates a little bit of space for a backup right back. I think that's fantastic. This is kind of different for me. I've actually sold the two players that uh, I wanted to sell very early on in this transfer special. Janssen goes to Newcastle for 45 mil. I liked him a lot. I thought he was a fantastic player. 
I just think we can do a little bit better than him. Uh, and also, leave down in the comments if you want me to add these two guys to the short list so we can take a look at them in the future as well. But Janssen out the door to Newcastle, followed by followed by Alves out the door for 30 mil, going to Burnley. Uh, I like Alves as well, but I, once again, I just think we can upgrade that position and do even better next season. So this is the fantastic offer because this season I really want to focus on trying to loan out some of the players that we just don't use a ton in our first team. And uh, one of those guys is Perdomo here. And Maccabi Tel Aviv have came in and met uh, his wages. So I think we'll take that. That's a pretty good offer for him just to get some playing time. I have been a busy man and the transfer window has finally opened up. I've brought in five players. Uh, I think three of them will be on the first team, two of them on the reserve side. Up first, we got Gronseth. We spent 34 mil on this guy, and he is our new center back. Using one of our 23 and under spots, he comes in, and I really like this guy. I think he's an upgrade from Janssen. Uh, I, I don't know, though, who's going to be our ball playing defender between him and Janssen. I need to take a look at that and find out for sure who I like better, but he's he can play that role as well. So excited about this guy coming in. Up next is one of our reserve guys that we purchased for 2.5 mil, a right wing player, uh, two star player, five star potential, and that is Thomas Falling. Uh, I think this guy, I mean, you could argue we should be playing him over Hop just based off the potential ability, but I do like this guy a lot as well. Up next, I spent a good bit of money on this guy, but I really, really like him as a deep line playmaker. Unfortunately, he's going to have to sit on the reserve side. We spent, I think, what was it, 13.5 mil on him? Yeah, 13.5 mil. I think he's worth every penny of it. You could argue he should be on the senior side. Well, Domfling comes in, and he's another one of these reserve side guys that you could argue needs to be on the first team. We purchased him for 13.5 as well. Uh, unfortunately for him, he's just going to have to sit on the reserve side for a year or two. Valentin comes in for 3.5 mil, and uh, he's a guy that I would really like to play on the reserve side, but I can't justify it. He has to be on the senior side, I believe. He he's that good right now. Speaking of the reserve side, I, I want to take a look at it. I, I want to try to add some players to this because we're running a little bit thin on some positions. And uh, these guys that we purchased for the reserve side, they might not be guys that are five-star potential. They may be three-and-a-half-star potential. They may be four-star potential. It's just to add a little bit of depth to this team, though. Sign another youth prospect here for 10.75 mil. Wilson comes in a one and a half star player, five star potential prospect. I'm really intrigued by him though. His value went through the roof after we signed him. And I really don't understand why our scouts have him rated at one and a half star. He looks a hell of a lot better than that. When we mentioned that we wanted to loan out some of our players, and we did do that, Barr goes out on loan. Amon, once again, on loan. We sold Hop for 3.9. Vinny goes out on loan. He's a backup goalkeeper on our reserve side. And Seal, also out on loan. And I made a mistake, guys. Uh, you know how we was talking about trying to sign a right back? Totally forgot about that and never made an offer on that guy that we showed earlier in the video. He went to Leicester City. Uh, so I'm, I'm still looking. I've got one guy in mind that I really like. It's this guy right here. Uh, He's not as defensive-minded, but man, he's just so damn good, well-rounded, three-and-a-half-star player. Still a big upgrade from what we had the previous season. Uh, looking at him, there's a couple other ones. Looking at this guy right here, uh, kind of like the other one a little bit better, though, to be honest with you. So this guy right here is kind of leading the front runner. I want to get him scouted, though, before we make an offer. We end up bringing in Ackerfold here. He's a right-back option for us that can play the whole way down that right-hand side. Uh, three-and-a-half-star player. Three-and-a-half-star potential ability and looks pretty damn good. I, I would have preferred a guy that was just a little bit better in the defensive department, but 12's all the way around. I'm happy with that. He's got decent jump and reach as well. Uh, we, we did spend a little bit of money on him, okay? Okay, we spent 30 mil, but he put out a 7.39 last season in the Eredivisie, so I think he can do a fantastic job for us this season. Right now, hey, we got the Dutch Cup um, upcoming not the Dutch Cup, uh, the Johan Cruyff Award thing, and uh, Pelé and PSV Eindhoven. I'm not going to show that match on screen. Uh, we've won it one time already, so I don't see a point in doing that, but we have been absolutely killing it out there in friendlies, including an 8-0 victory against Telstar, where we looked fantastic. Well, for us to have struggled so much in that Johan Cruyff uh, Award Shield thing, we've won it now back-to-back -back times. We absolutely 
dominated PSV Eindhoven. Uh, taking a look at the match here, I mean, you can see we had an HG of 4.2. We only allowed three shots in this match. We was fantastic from the opening whistle. And uh, yeah, hopefully it continues that way. I was I was thrilled with that. We're going to kick off the next episode, though, with Groningen, IX, Vitesse. But hey, we've got we got one more thing, two more things, two more things we got to do before we get out of here. Take a look at the new kits. There they are. You see them. Uh, I like them a lot. They're, they're a little bit different this season, so... Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy those as well. And uh, we got to take a look at the season preview, don't we? We, we should have known that. I mean, all the yellow, you see that. Tejon, that's fantastic. Looks to be another fantastic season upcoming for NAC. How does that season start, though? Tune into the next episode to find out. If you enjoyed this one, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. And as always, my dudes, thank you for watching.